So the first step in using Ninja Trader to practice trading, uh, I'm going to show you how to practice trading the Forex market. Um, the first thing is to download the software. So I'm going to scroll down here. The best place to find it is down here. And go to simulate and free download now. There it is right there. Um, they want you to put your email. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put my email in there. Um, no, we don't want live market data because I'm not going to trade the live market. Now they're going to ask you what version you want. I have a video on version 7. I'm going to go with version 8 this time. That's what this video is all about because I believe that that's where they're moving toward. It is a lot different, um, but it does have the same features. And actually, I kind of like it a little bit better, uh, although, you know, change is always different. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. Now, I could have just made up an email um, if I wanted to, but um, I'm going to go ahead and save that in my downloads. And um, just got downloaded it for free. So you could do that if you don't want to give me your real email. Okay, so what I've done is drag this from my download folder, and I'm going to go ahead and install it. The thing with NinjaTrader 7 is I think when you're installing it, it asks you for a code, and um, when you install this version, it's not asking you for a code. So that's what's good about it. So what has happened is, I'm going to delete this, is now I have two versions of NinjaTrader. Ninja um, shortcuts on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. This is, uh, I guess, 32 bit. I'm not sure. I always just use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. It should open the software. And see, what's nice about the new version is you don't have to type in a, a code or anything like that. Whereas version 7, you used to have to. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip this because this is for real-time market data, um, not necessary. I don't need it. Not for simulated trading and practice trading. That's what I'm going to use this for. So they do have a getting started and so forth. I'm not going to go over that today. Um, you can look into that yourself. But um, now is the time to set things up so you can get simulate trading. And um, of course, it's always past data. But what's nice is you can um, practice, um, you can place trades, although I haven't messed with it too much. I'm just going to show you how to set it up and get the chart going and get it so it starts showing you um, the data and, and the chart will get going based on past, like uh, last week's data. And then um, I think you can practice putting on trades. That's the way you used to be able to do it with version 7. So the next step is to download the market data. So I'm going to go to historical data here. And it brings me this dialog box here. Select my instrument. I want to go with GBP. Oops, GBP USD. And I want to go with the date. And that would be, I'm going to go for last Thursday. That would be the 26th. And download it. And there it is. It just downloaded so now I'm all set. I have my market data ready to go for that day. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect to playback connection here. And then there's my data. Now I don't want it for, um, yeah, it was the 25th, I believe. So now I need to put a chart up there to see if this is going to work. So let's go ahead and go to new here and chart. And let me get this out of the way first. Oops. There we go. Um, I'm going to select Forex, GBP, USD. Uh, I want to do a five minute chart because that's what I like to trade. Press OK. And there's my chart. I'll move it here. Sorry if this isn't big enough. Here's my playback. And let's see if I slide over. It should show. Yep, there, there it is. It starts showing my data for that day. And notice it keeps bringing it in because I. It's taking a little while. There it goes. It stopped right there. Now, right now, it, the playback is stopped, I believe. 
Yeah, okay, there it starts. Now, if you want it to go faster, because you want to see things going faster, you can just hit this, and now it's gone 30 times, and the charts, there's 50 times, and the ch charts, the bars should actually close and show it faster. If you want to, you can um, go ahead and apply some indicators if that's what you want to do and so forth. So this is how you, and you can kind of scrub through it a little bit. It's not, you know, it doesn't seem as clean as uh, Ninja Trader 7 when it comes to this. It seems to want to redraw every time you move it over. So let's see if I just move it over a little bit more. Um, See, it kind of goes back in time. That's the only negative thing about it. I haven't really played with it that much, but this is how you get it going, and this is how it works. So, so this is how you get it going. This is how it, how it works, and all you need to do now is to just replicate what I did, and you can test, start testing some of your ideas on trading using Ninja Trader for free. It's kind of nice.